Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed build video of our city zoo. But this one is going to be a little bit different because today we are going to create a little gift shop for our city zoo. And yes, this one can also be downloaded from the workshop with the link in the description of this video. Now for this little gift shop, I did use the base shape of our little round restaurant building that you can also download from the workshop and you can also find in our city zoo at several places. I will also put the link of this workshop item of this restaurant in the description of this video so you don't have to search for it. Now bear with me though, this is the very first time ever in Planet Zoo that we are creating a little gift shop. So I definitely feel like I need a little bit more practice uh, for this to make it all look perfect. But I think this little gift shop is definitely a nice first try if I may say so myself. Now obviously the interior with the shelves and stuff are not made by me, but made by some amazing creators of the workshop. So two workshop items I use for this build are the gift shop collection by Skylala. And the other one I use is the gift shop deco made by Borky. I would highly recommend you all to use these workshop items when you're going to create a gift shop for your zoo and you are just like me, like not so good in creating all these different types of shells with things to sell in your little zoo shop. I will obviously link these two workshop items as well in the description of this video and of course in the workshop item itself. And please do make sure to leave a thumbs up at the workshop items of these creators to appreciate this incredible work they have done and, and that we are able to use it. I mean, that's just super amazing. So alrighty, let's talk about the speed build for just a little bit. Like as I said, I used a base shape of the City Zoo restaurant to create like this little round gift shop so at the front of the shop, I wanted to make sure that there were some windows to bring some light into the shop. So in between some limestone pieces, I made like this frame with trims and planks and metal pieces that would go around the glass so it all matches and, and fits perfectly into each other. And on the inside, I wanted to make sure it all looks a little bit more warm and cozy. So for this interior, I wanted to use some different type of woods to decorate it all and to get that little warm vibe going on on the inside. Now one mistake that I'm actually making here with this first gift shop is not making a plan at all where I want some of the shelves to be and what shelves I'm actually going to use. I just downloaded the workshop items then I started working on these walls of the gift shop without having an actual plan. This definitely made it harder to later to like fill everything up with some nice shelves. So yeah, if you're planning uh, to make your first gift shop, I really recommend you to first plan out where you want everything to be before you start building the building for your shop. <laughs> Also, one mistake I made was thinking these new shop counters were also made for the gift shops. Only when it was time to put down the shops, I realized that these new shop counters are only for food and drinks. So this also messed up a bit of the idea that I had because the only idea that I had was having like two shop counters in the middle of the shop and then put like shelves all around it at the backside, etc. Uh, so yeah, this definitely wasn't the smoothest first gift shop build ever to be completely honest. So as I said, like the inside of the interior will be with a lot of wood. Uh, so also the limestone pillars will be replaced on the inside with wooden pillars. I really do think this looks a lot better than if we would have kept them all in limestone to match more of like the outside of the building. And it would only have wood in between them. I, I don't really think that would look super well, to be honest. Although these wooden pillars also made it a lot harder later on to fill in the area with the shop shelves. You will definitely also notice that with uh, what I'm going to put down the shelves. <laughs> So once I had bow walls finished for the base shape of my shop, I was able to duplicate this all and make a nice round shop out of these two walls. Like if you have no idea how this round technique works, I would suggest to watch my top 10 building tips and tricks video that everyone should know uh, for Planet Zoo. Uh, I will obviously, as we are sharing so many links already today, also make sure to link at that video in the description of this video. So it's all easy for you to find and to watch. 
It's all right, no shop counter. So I had to add the normal gift shops instead. Like honestly, I feel a little bit weird if I would be using like these food and drink shop counters instead. Just because I want to use the shop counters for this gift shop, like no, that that's not going to happen. I do really hope that Frontier will be adding the gift shops um, as well soon like maybe in a new update like next to the new DLC we're going to see in March or April of this year I really would love to see uh yeah these shop counters as well for the gift shops that would be just super amazing like it makes more sense to have it for gift shops than for food and drink shops in my opinion so yeah but yeah, the idea of having some cool shells in the back of the shop counters was right away gone. So now we will be adding shells on the left and the right side of the gift shops, which is also fine, I guess. But before we will be adding the shells, we will put some nice glassy towels on the floor of our little gift shop. I really love to use these towels for the inside of restaurants already. And now we will obviously also be using them for these gift shops. After that, it was time to pick some cool shelves. Now, this still was a little bit challenging as some shelves are a lot bigger than actually it would fit inside of this gift shop. But I did manage to like squeeze a few in. Uh, first on the left and the right side of the, the gift shop buildings, basically. And then later on, we will be adding some shelves in front of the glass pieces. And I also did lower a lot of these shelves into the ground with like these little rat panda, little elephant, giant panda and Japanese macaque statues to, to resemble those, those, I think plushies, uh, uh, they should be, should be resembling. But yeah, they're just way too high uh, to put them in front of the glass. So I did make them a lot lower to, to I, I really don't know. Like I keep saying shells, but I guess some things are, are called differently, but I honestly just have no idea how you would call them. So do let me know in the comments down below. If there is like another word for these kind of shells, like, uh, like the ones that I'm putting down in front of the windows, because I honestly have no idea. So when all shells are in place, I added some wooden, painted Asia beams on the roof of the shop and later also added like these cute European fans with some lights onto them uh, onto the, the, these pillars as well or these beams and this definitely just gives a more cozy feeling to the little gift shop in my opinion like lowering you're basically kind of lowering the roof a little bit or the ceiling I should say the ceiling a little bit down so I don't know, it feels a little bit more cozy in my opinion and uh, I just really love these European fans, they look absolutely fantastic. And above the doorway I did create like this little sign that says zoo shop because I think this sounds a little bit nicer than gift shop to be completely honest. And when that sign was in place I added some wooden planters on the outside of the windows with some nice pink flowers. And what I did not record in this speed build video was that I also did add like these white animal signs in front of the glass. I think this really looks super nice for a little gift shop like this. And I actually barely use these signs because I never really know what to use them for. But I think for the outside of the shop, they are actually just perfect. So I really do like how that is looking. Now honestly, when it was time to add this little gift shop to City Zoo, it was a little bit hard to find a right nice spot for it. Like the most obvious space to add a little gift shop, in my opinion, would be at the entrance. But we already like built a lot there, so I don't really have space for this round gift shop in the entrance area. So we might be making more a more like square gift shop in the future as well, because maybe that would fit in a little bit better at the end but I still don't have any idea where we want to put it but I feel like we definitely need like this this gift shop somewhere at the entrance area because I think that is just something you see so often in any zoo so this gift shop right now is basically placed in between the Africa Australia and European area basically a little bit on the edge of the three even though it would be nice to have like a gift shop right away in the area where there's also like a restaurant or like toilets uh, I think this is the closest I could get like when uh, the guests would go over the bridge uh, that is right in front of this gift shop and go to the right there right away is an Australian restaurant and I feel like it should definitely be more closer but 
it is what it is, I guess. Just this, this silly lady just never really planned any gift shops in the whole city too. So it's definitely my bad for not really looking into this earlier and plan the gift shops on the map. So yeah, not a perfect gift shop, but definitely a nice first gift shop for our city zoo. As I said, you can find all the workshop links in the description of this video, as well as the top 10 building tips and tricks video if you want to know how to create these round shaped buildings or of course any other useful building tips. But yeah, please do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this very first gift shop in City Zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!